All right, so when it comes to general release sneakers, stuff you can get anywhere on any website or any store, I try not to impulse buy them. They're gonna be there for a little while, so I don't really need to rush into getting them. So what I try to do is sell some stuff before I buy that sneaker, especially if it's something expensive. So I've got a few things that I'm gonna sell to Plato's Closet. I have a lot, like I have plenty that I can sell. So I'm gonna try to move at least like $100 worth of stuff so that I can get this one pair of sneakers that I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video. It should still be available. I saw it in store and I was like, yup, I need those, but hold up, I gotta sell some stuff first. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give some clothing and sneakers to Plato's Closet. They don't give you much, but I have a lot. So I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. And forgive the audio, I don't have my mic with me, so uh, this may suck a little bit. So for sneakers, I got a few pairs. First up is some Converse sneakers. You probably saw me wear these in the Converse lookbook that I did. They've got a zipper on the front and I'm just not wearing these much. So I think this is definitely a cool sneaker, but I'm gonna pass it off because I'm just not wearing them. That's the hardest part, realizing what you're not really wearing. Then I got a pair of Saucony sneakers and these are crazy, check these out. These are like some grid SDs that are done in a rose gold. Just a little bit too flashy for me. So the Saucony's are going. And then um, a lot of clothes, like tons of clothes. This bag is completely full. It's not Puma stuff, I'm just using the bag. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? These are some champion shorts. I've worn them a few times, but you know, I got a bunch of other Mitchell and S shorts, so I'm not wearing these as much as I thought I was gonna. I haven't worn them once this summer, so that's kind of my rule. If I haven't already worn them, once this summer. I'm getting rid of them. What are these? Like just some Jordan shorts, some EPTM shorts. These are actually really cool. An H&M sweater that I know I'm never gonna wear. And then this is some Timberland hoodie that I ended up not wearing. I mean, I think this thing is brand new. Yeah, like, what was it, 88 bucks? They're not gonna give me anywhere near that, but I'm not gonna put it on eBay either because it's too much of a hassle. Straight cash right now by sending this stuff off. So once it's gone, it's gone. Got another pair of sneakers, these are some Pumas, and honestly, I don't even really wanna let these go. These are the Netfit Sugi joints that are in blue, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna let these go right now or not. I think that these are dope. I'll decide on these last minute if I'm gonna pass them off, but I may just hold on to these. Then this last shoe, I don't even know what is in here. This is from Under Armour, and they sent this to me, like, I don't even know when. Honestly, I don't even know when they sent these sneakers to me. I didn't even open them. It's a package that's completely unopened. It's their hover sneaker or whatever it is. Let's take a look now, <laughs> I guess, because this is exactly how I'm gonna pass it off. It's got that Under Armour and hover logo on the front. This is like some styrofoam. Again, sorry about the audio if this sucks. All right, so. This is like one of their lightweight sneakers or something like that. I don't even know how, what is this? Um, this is about the Under Armour Hover. <laughs> Sorry, Under Armour, if you're watching this, that I am, uh, these actually aren't that bad. They are not that bad. This would actually probably be a pretty cool sneaker to work out in, but all this stuff I'm giving to Plato's Closet right now. Hopefully I get some money so that I can buy this pair of Nikes that I want, stay tuned. All right, so they took pretty much everything. There's a few things they did not want, but for the most part, they took it all and I got 160 bucks. It got later than I thought it was gonna get, so I'm not gonna be able to go to the mall today. I'm gonna go tomorrow and then we'll pick up the video there. All right, so fast forward a few days, I got my cash and I'm about to run up in this finish line and grab this pair of sneakers that I want. General release sneaker and I don't have to pay for it really out of my pocket. I just cashed in a few things. It feels better instead of just opening up your wallet and impulse buying something. This finish line that I'm going to in this mall in general is just terrible. There's really nothing and fuck, it's pouring now. That sucks.
right, so fast forward a few more days again. I've done this video over the course of like a week and a half. In my mind, I was like, I'm gonna do that in one day, but um, it just is what it is. I had to break it up a little bit, but I've got the sneakers, obviously picked them up from Finish Line. That Finish Line store wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but they had a bunch of different Jordan Retros, some new Air Maxes, and I'll probably actually go back there again. They had the shoe I wanted in my size, tried it on and everything, fits me great. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I picked up. If you guessed a pair of Nike Vapor Max sneakers, then you're right. I really wanted to try the new Vapor Max out, so that's exactly what I did. Went ahead and grabbed the Vapor Max 2 in the black colorway. I've got a pair of Vapor Max 1s and I wear them all the time. I'm a huge fan. I just haven't like gone all in and got a bunch of different colorways and whatnot. So the Vapor Max 2 definitely caught my eye. I think it's a little bit better than the Vapor Max 1. There's a few subtle differences I like aesthetically, just small details, but for the most part, it's a very similar shoe. Vapor Max sole with a fly knit upper. And this colorway, not gonna lie, it reminded me of the off whites that I missed out on. I really, really wanted and still want the Vapor Max off white. The colorway is similar with the black upper and clear outsole, but obviously it doesn't have that off white touch. Off white sneakers just have a sprinkle of magic on the top of them and they stand out so much more. I think those are amazing. I've got some Vapor Max ones and this shoe I think is a little bit more subtle with the smoked out Vapor Max unit. This one is clear, so you can definitely see the difference. Let me know if you prefer the Vapor Max one or the Vapor Max 2. So let me know what you guys think about this pickup. Again, I didn't really wanna just make an impulse buy and grab this sneaker. I wanted to sell a few things to make sure that I didn't have to come out of pocket to buy these because I sit on a lot of stuff and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. So definitely always look around and see if there's anything you're not wearing that you can move if you're looking to go ahead and buy a new sneaker or clothing item, whatever it is. I definitely could have put some of those items on eBay or StockX or GOAT or whatever it is, but I didn't feel like spending the time to make the listing, waiting for it to sell, dealing with buyers, shipping everything out. I like the easy idea of just letting stuff go at a discounted rate and just getting my money for it. Let me know if you guys think that was a good deal and let me know if you liked this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Eddie Wynn Kicks. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you later. Peace.